For our main event of the evening, our women's bantamweight bout between Holly, the preacher's daughter, Holm, and Irene Robles Aldana. Hey, well done there, Bernard, once again. <laughs> the, the, you look at the women's bantamweight division right now, it's in such a weird spot. I think um, Amanda Nunes has literally just cleared out the division, and essentially the winner of this one will get the title fight. I believe Nunes is fighting in December against uh, Megan Anderson. So, obviously, the winner will face Amanda Nunes for the uh, Bantamweight title. But, again, obviously, you've seen Holly Holmes, she's already faced champion. And as far as title shots go, I mean, you've got to feel for Holly Holmes on that one. I think it didn't go uh, well for her. And that would be an understatement. I think she got knocked out in the first round to Nunes. And she's coming off of a decision victory over Raquel Pennington, and which was which is uh, necessarily a dull one, to say the least. I mean, I was not a fan of watching that fight, to say the least. This is a this is a big one for home because she's not in the best of forms recently as of late. Uh, again, she's coming towards the end of her career. Whereas you look at Aldana, burst onto the I think she upset a lot of people in the Vieira fight and she certainly put her name on the map to say the least. She's coming in. I think she's five and one in her last six. And personally, I think if there's going to be a finish in this one, I think Aldana will get the finish. Obviously, she's more of a brawler. She's got the the ground game to back up a you know a crisp striking ba uh, background. Whereas, to say the least, obviously not to expect from Holly Holm. Oh, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. I think Holm, I'm going to probably go for a Holm by decision on this one, although I'm very reluctant in that prediction. I think she's able to out, uh, outpoint Aldana. And I think Aldana will struggle to get home to the, the map on this one. I think she'll grind this one by decision, Holly Holm. This is a good one. I think this is going to be a good, I, we touched on this before we, we've started going live on this. Um, this is one of those cards where maybe your casual fan is going to look at this and, and be like, nah, maybe I can skip this card. I think this card is going to be phenomenal. I think, I think we're going to have some upsets on here. I think we're going to have some great fights and I think it's going to end. The night is going to end with a great fight. I love Holly Holm. I do. I really do love her. But like James said, her last couple fights haven't been that impressive. I, I'm leaning more Aldana. I like her boxing. Um, and maybe that's just because of what she did in her last fight with uh, Vieira when she flatlined her with that with the left hook. Um, I, th I think I think Aldana gets it done. I think she ekes out a close split decision win on this. Um, I don't see either either woman finishing each other um, just because I think both of their stand ups are, are very well. Mm. Um, but I think Aldana, I think she ekes it out, man. I think Holly Holm, uh, unfortunately, is kind of getting to that that end of that road. and. Maybe I'm wrong, and I, I won't be upset if I am wrong because I love Holly Holm, but I think Aldana gets it done. Split decision. I'm a big Holly Holm fan. This Man, this is hard because Holly's in a, entering a stage that you don't really want to be in. She's going to have to start racking up wins with impressive knockouts and finishes to justify a third fight with Amanda Nunez. Or, Right? It would be a third fight with Amanda Nunez? Is it three? Or am I wrong? Am I crazy on that? Uh, no, just a, no, it, it's second. Lost, but it's another lost. title fight, right? Yeah. Another mm. title fight. She's kind of been there, come down, been up, come down, been there. Like, you know, she lost her title, went up to featherweight, lost pretty controversially, but then got the chance again with Cyborg, lost. Like, got the chance again with Nunez, lost. Like, you can only push them up so many times before mm. people just stop caring. And Holly Holmes in a really dangerous area where, you know, her last fight with Raquel Pennington, I remember people saying that was boring. That was dumb. That was whatever, but she did what she had to, cause she mm. had to win that fight. She had to win that fight. She's putting in herself now though, in a spot where if she just keeps winning fights like that, she might not get another chance still there. there there's, n there's nothing for Amanda Nunez to be like, yeah, let's do that again. She dominated her. She finished mm. her. It, it just, she has to do something that makes people go, okay, she's, she's different. She's on a different level. She's uh, evolved into something different again. Now I want to see this fight with Amanda Nunez again. Because at the end of the day, you know, the, the fans are going to push, a, be a big part of a big push of getting Holly home and what they want to see. There's so many fans are, she's going to have to do something impressive. I think for her, luckily for her, that this opponent, Aldana, with her boxing will engage with her on the feet and could give her that opportunity for that. So I actually am going to go Holly home by old school 
head kick knockout in the third in the third round. Nice. Nice. Prop bet. Because she has to, or else she's mm. gonna fall into irrelevant ir- irrelevance. So I think uh in, in the women's divisions, if you're kind of a kickboxing striker style, it ages a little more gracefully as you get further into your career than it does in the men's divisions because you're not likely to run into a guy that looks like Jorgen DeCastro or <laughs> Francis Ngannou or Stipe. You're not going to run into like – or John Jones. You're not going to run into like a physical freak where if you stand there and box with them, they're going to take your head clean off. So I think she's – she is getting to the point, however, where it is starting – that that style of fighting relies on a certain amount of strength and speed and athleticism that does start to decline in everybody at a certain point. Um, and I, I agree that we're getting to that point. I like Holly Holm a lot too, and she's such a great – I mean, wouldn't that be just a great picture, just the American boxing MMA champion Holly Holm put her on a poster? Like, wouldn't that be great? But that was a very, very brief poster that we had uh, <laughs> that I don't think we're going to get another one. Um, I'm going to take all down in this one because I think she's going to be – her coaches and her camp have told her the entire time that she's known that she's had this fight, listen, don't stand in the middle of the octagon and kickbox with Holly Holm because she's – you're not going to be – you're not going to win do, beating her at her own game like that. But I do think that Aldana's coming in with a more – well-rounded skill set again there i go with the well-rounded skill set but that is kind of holly holmes signature that's that's her business card is her kickboxing is she's going to kick you and she's going to punch you and she's very good at it but i think aldana's had it drilled into her and is also a smart enough fighter to know that she doesn't want to do that she doesn't want to get in there and kickbox with her so i think she's going to manage to move around the ring a lot she's going to change the levels up uh and i think aldana's going to end up taking the victory uh I'm saying via a late submission. I think we get down into it and it gets onto the ground and Holly Holm gets into a position. Obviously, she's been a champion. She's been in the UFC for a long time. She's seen all kinds of stuff, but that's not her specialty is wrestling or grappling or jujitsu. And so I think she's going to see something down on the ground and she's going to get got there late in the like the maybe the, well, I mean, it's five round fight. So fourth yeah. round. 